It's our three month anniversary today. That's mad. I feel like I've been coming here for years. <laughs> How are you? What do you think? You have more energy, you appear more content with your life now than you did three months ago. But only you can tell how you are feeling. Hmm? I, I, I can't do that for you. I know. You remember nothing of what happened before the coma. You're not sure you want to remember. I think you do. Do you agree with that, Zoe? And potentially lose everything I've built here. I know there's something I need to remember, something I'm supposed to be doing. Until I figure that out, I can't find peace. And potentially lose everything I've built here? I... I'm not sure I can take losing everything all over again. And potentially lose... I do. I can't stand feeling there's something I need to remember. So, I have to find out. I understand, okay. Let's see if we can do an exercise. Jog your memory. What is the last thing you do remember? Dropping out of uni, moving back in with Dad. I'd lost... Lost faith in myself, in everyone around me. I'd broken up with Reza. And then something did happen. Be careful what you wish for, right? Razor vanishing. Me going after him, trying to track him down. I ended up in Newport. I remember being in a safe place and connecting to a dream machine, but that's where it ends. And before that? Before leaving Casablanca? Reza asked me to pick up a package. That's what set it all in motion. That and the static. Now, do you remember what that turned out to be? After I woke up, they filled in the blanks. Apparently it was some sort of glitch, or virus, rogue code infecting the worldwide wire. Someone at Watercorp was using the dream machine to read people's minds. Someone I'd met. Kavanagh. Damien Kavanagh. The man behind it all. The perpetrator of the conspiracy. He'd put some sort of worm into the code, turning the dream machine into a mind-controlling tool affecting millions. At least that's... That's what they say. He recorded a confession before he... At least he came clean. Absolved his employer of any wrongdoing. Convenient. In what way? I forget it. I don't remember any of it. All I know is they poisoned my mind. Inserted false memories. Nothing I saw or experienced was real. The little girl on the screens, the other... The other world. Arcadia. Another colourful figment of their imagination. A synthetic dream. And you still remember nothing of going to Japan? Breaking into Watikorp? Nope. I exposed a global conspiracy and all they gave me was a lousy coma. Aside from you, Reza and my dad, no one even knows I was involved. Reza kept me out of his expose. And even he doesn't know what really happened during the week I was gone. Maybe my friend Olivia knew something, but she... passed away. You feel responsible. I went off playing teen detective and people got hurt. You're worried something else happened to you. I mean, it's a week of my life. Gone. Have you used a dream machine yet? God, no. I feel nauseous just watching the ads. It's becoming a disease, an addiction. I'm concerned about what these lucid, perfect dreams are doing to us. And you were connected to a prototype. There's no way to predict how that may have affected you. Have you spoken with Gabrielle yet? I haven't. Yet. I decided to continue with my degree, so I guess that means I'm not disassociating myself completely from Dad and everything he represents. But he... He rented out the house, moved to Mumbai. We're not exactly close anymore. That's perfectly fine. What do you want to talk about? Is the new series of Eurotrash a valid topic? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Our time is almost up. That's fine. I'm working today. 
How's that going? Really good. I enjoy it. A lot. If you do find a way to clean up the river, a lot of people will be happy. I might actually be contributing something to society, for once. And with the voluntary campaign work, I feel I contribute in other ways, too. You're keeping yourself busy and motivated. You've come a long way since we first met. Thank you, Dr. Zelenka. A Roman. Uh, please. <laughs> Same time next week? Definitely. Thanks, Doc. Roman. Roman. <laughs> Take care, Zoe. Exactly what you'd expect a psychologist to keep on his office shelf. No tawdry romance novels, fantasy or science fiction, unfortunately. I see... No, no, I, I really shouldn't. It's a trap. A psychological trap. Knock on wood. Hmm. I don't often get to do that with real wood. Ikea's plastique just doesn't cut it, knockwise. I didn't know the doc was into cephalopods. I wonder if he has a pet one at home. I need a permit. I have a permit. I paid a fucking fortune for this permit. But your permit is no longer valid. You'll need to have it renewed. You have 24 hours to comply. Fuck off. You have 24 hours to comply. Well, that, that makes absolutely no sense. If, if you do not comply, you'll be detained and your food cart confiscated. If you so much as touch Carl, I will cut off your testicles and make a kebab. Threats are counterproductive and punishable by law. You have twenty. How does it feel working for a fascist fucking regime, trampling all over the working people? I'm okay with it. Yeah, great health coverage, no overtime, pays decent. Twenty-four hours. Hey. Hey, where are you? 
Just leaving therapy on my way to the lab. What's up? <laughs> Neck deep. Would I be a bad boyfriend if I asked you to stop by that place with the uh, crazy person and the good food? Nella bites. Sure. And lazy. Not bad. What? Not bad boyfriend. Lazy boyfriend. What do you want? Uh, your pick. Nothing... Exotic. <laughs> Affirmative. I'll stop by Nella's right now. I should be at your office in 15? Thanks. You're the best. I am. See you soon. Nella has a nickname for her mobile kitchen, and that nickname is Carl, because Marxist. Best schmazak in Propast! Did you see that? I shouldn't get involved. I have enough on my plate and I'm running late, and I'm already neck deep in the Uminska campaign. I don't need... I can't believe the eye is harassing Nella. She sells food. It's not like she's doing anything illegal, is she? I mean, I know she's politically involved, but there's no law. I shouldn't get involved. Sorry, Nella, I just have to buy Reza's lunch. You know what they say. First they came for the communists, and I didn't speak out because I wasn't a communist. But you are a communist. Marxist, and that's not the point. The eye is clamping down on our freedoms. They're restricting transit between the districts, working directly with Parliament to silence revolutionaries. One of these days, I won't be around to sell you lunch. I'm sure they won't. Arrest me? For committing thought crimes? Wait and see, I'd say. Something's up. They already arrested some folks I know in the Berlin district, holding them on suspicion of terrorism. Crimes of the mind, so so. That's their angle. So, okay, they also released a cloud of biographiti on the Reichstag, but terrorism? Come on! Scary. Scary. That's exactly what it is. And your candidate isn't going to change anything for the better. Maybe not. But Uminska won't change anything for the worse, either. Unlike Konstantin Wolf. Kaiser Konstantin. Puta! If that schwein gets elected, I'm moving to Paris. They'd never let you in. One of the conglomerate city-states of North America, then. Newport, the fucking Republic of Los Angeles, hell, even Bostonia. Anywhere but Kaiser's Europe. That's why Lea Uminska is the best choice. No one's gonna put the Marxists in office, Nela. At least my candidate has a fighting chance. And she is a socialist. She's a moderate, Zoe. A moderate! What's the point in that? Moderation is just another word for compromise. Anyway, what are you having? Having? Lunch, Sozo. -so, for your turbo. Listen, I have a new supplier for pork worst, the collective down on Caprova. Organic meat, the real deal, none of that vat grown slop. Don't know how they do it. Connections on high, plenty of mouses swapping hands, but they're legal, I think. The pork sausages sound delicious, but Reza plays it safe when it comes to food. Europolitan through and through. The pork sausages sound totally delicious. I'm not sure Reza will agree, but he needs to be more adventurous when it comes to his diet. The pork sausage... I'm gonna have to go with the cheese soup. Again. Dobra, coming up. You should join the protest this afternoon. We're marching on the sector office. Can't, sorry. Ada would give me time off, but the project's at a really critical stage right now. Smart girl. We'll probably get beaten by the bulla and tossed in the zona. Just another fucking Monday in Propast. Here you go. Thanks, Nella. If you reconsider, we'll head out around noon. Time to let those cunts know we're watching the Watchmen. Smajak! Down with the fascio oppressors! That's right, Assy. Keep walking. The best food in Propaz comes from the street vendors and their food carts. Down Hands down, no oppressors. contest. Propast has the best selection of street food in Europolis. There's no reason to cook, ever. Oh, e except when Reza cooks. <laughs> I'm fine with him cooking. Reza's office is down by Prista Vista, the old river docks. Right, show me Prista Vista, please. 
the Pamatnik collapse. Planning on a trip down the river? You got it, pal girl. Crow past docks coming right up. Anytime you need a rootin' tootin' six barrel shootin' crow cowboy to give you directions to anywhere in Crow Pass, you just call on the crow boy. It's warm and tingly. Odd. Rosa's office is down by Prista Vista, the old river docks, right behind the Collapse Memorial. Show me Prista Vista, please. The Pamatnik Collapse. Planning on a trip down the river? You got it, pal girl. Pro past docks coming up. right up. I hope you get to where you're going. And if you ever get lost again, you know Crow Boy's got your back. Move along. Nothing to see here. here to help you find your way in Pro Pass. I'm 
I'm here to give you directions, miss. You just tell me where you want to go today. Reza's office is down by Prista Vista, the old river docks, right behind the Collapse Memorial. Show me Prista Vista, please. The Pamatnik Collapse. Planning on a trip down the river? You got it, cowgirl. Pro past docks, coming right up. Y'all come back anytime now, you hear? Just a guy with guitar trying to make sense. You know, she gets a lot of mierda, but Rebus is straight up. That's the hand it feeds logo. It's conveniently pointing the way to the entrance. Sorry, Zoe, I'm rather busy. Sully needs this Valtek story done before the end of the day, and he's just not listening to reason. What's up? Toppling governments and exposing corporate conspiracies? Well, all in a daze. How was... you know... Therapy? Therapeutic. I guess. You guess. I know he means well, but not in the mood for more psychotherapy. I wish he'd leave the psychotherapy for later, but I know he means well. I know he means well, but can we please talk about it later? At home? So what are you working on now? A couple of things. The clampdown, mostly. There's tons of buzz about the syndicate shutting down parts of the metro. Uh, escalating identity checks, raiding news feeds. We're expecting the worst. You're loving it. I wouldn't say that, but... That's exciting. We can make a difference. I pray they try to raise a hand. Sully's already preparing the lawsuits. We'll sue them for emotional trauma, unlawful intrusion, damages to property, interference with the free press. We'll sue them for 300 million yuan. He's looking forward to it. I am looking forward to it. Bring it on. On your way to the lab? Ready to get rid of me already? I bring lunch. Cheese soup, the usual. I forgive you. You can stay as long as you don't talk to me. I need to finish this story. The clampdown? No, that new Bingo Dreamer soft drink. Apparently they fast-tracked EFSA approval and skipped a few steps. Some customers have reported seeing the Bingo Dingo after drinking a can. We'll probably get it pulled from vending machines. That's my boyfriend, getting fizzy drinks yanked from store shelves. I'm a modern-day Gilgamesh, saving the world from hallucinogenic sugar water. Thanks for lunch. I appreciate it. I guess I'm making dinner. You guessed correctly, ZML. Oh, I won't be home until later. I'm volunteering. Any special requests? Nothing heavy. Have the membranes been repaired? I queried the building net, but no reply. Prepare for the worst. I can't believe we don't live in a climate-controlled apartment. As soon as I get a raise, we're moving. I don't want to leave Pro Past. No, I like the neighbourhood. But a more modern building would be nice. No more sunny living at Sun and Shine Plaza by original consumer goods. Anyway, lunch. Here, I have to run. Have fun at the lab. Say hi to, uh, to Wallflower? Ada. Ada! Come on! She's the best! She's fun! Once you get to know her. Fun. She's so smart, and a really nice person. Right. A nice person. Yeah, that's right. Nice. And I'm going to invite her over soon. And you will be nice, and it will be nice, and we will have fun.
Hey, my favorite manic pixie dream girl. Sully loves to test me. He knows what buttons to push. I'm calling his bluff. Sully is the sweetest. I know he likes me, but he tries so hard to keep it light and friendly. <laughs> yeah, fuck you too. You look awful, by the way. What happened? A wedding. Finally? Who's the lucky girl? You know I only have eyes for you. Dump that deadbeat boyfriend of yours and let's catch the first train to Copenhagen. I'm trying to slowly poison him with my home cooking. I'll give it a few months. How was the wedding? Awful. I feel like shit. It was a Polish wedding. A Polish wedding with an unlimited supply of Polish vodka. Oh, that does sound awful. I take it you haven't been to a Polish wedding. It was fantastic. It was a disaster. It was all things good and bad. And once the bride and groom stopped screaming at each other, it was incredibly romantic. I'm man enough to admit that I wept. Openly. I was Trieste. Really good. I mean, it's Trieste. It's not the Gold Coast. But it was nice to get out of the city. Did you know there's an actual sun up there? Yeah, urban myth. The sun is a lie. I don't believe it for a second. Besides, my skin would probably turn to ashes if it's exposed to UV rays. You're a child of Propas, Sully. Constantinople. But close enough. I don't expect an islander to understand European geography. Born in India, spent half my life in Africa, but hey, who's keeping track? Talk like an islander, live behind islander walls, deal with islander shame. That's what I say. I'd love to chat more with Sully, but he does like to go on, and I should probably head to work. Everyone's talking about the clampdowns today. If anyone knows what's going on, it's Sully. He prides him. I'd love to chat. Islander or not, you'll still whisk me away when the time is right. To Copenhagen, was it? That's just for the marriage license. We'll go to Overbukyu in Dacia and live like savages on the beach. <laughs> Sounds good. I'll get back to you once I've taken care of you know who. I heard that. Which part? All the parts. Meh. You'll still eat my food, even if it is poisoned. Food is food. I've distracted you two enough. When are you coming by for dinner, Sally? When is your man cooking dinner next? Cruel but fair. We'll have you over soon. Maybe we'll even find you a dinner date. Next to you, no woman measures up, but beggars, choosers... Take care, Zoe. Stop by any time. Registered trademark of the Revolutionary Church Holdings. <laughs> what does that even mean?